Hey guys, Fun over here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a lean mechanic into your Godot first person shooter. So let's get right into this. So you want to be on your player and then go to your player script. And then you can have a function called lean. And we need two variables, is leaning left and is leaning right. Both of these need to be bulls. And I will set both of them to false by default. So if we are leaning left, then we need to modify the rotation degrees of our player on the Z axis, so it needs to go either left or right. So we just say rotation degrees dot Z is equal to lerp rotation degrees dot Z, 15 delta times 5, and you need a delta parameter for this function, for this to work. If we are leaning right, then we want to say rotation degrees dot Z is equal to lerp rotation degrees dot Z, negative 15 delta times 5. So we do negative 15 if we want to like go this way, we do negative 15 if we want to go this way, and 15 if we want to go that way. And then if we are not leaning left and we are not leaning right, then we just want to say rotation degrees dot z is equal to lerp rotation degrees dot z, and then delta times 5 once again. And then we need an if statement if input dot is action pressed lean left, then we want to say is leaning right is equal to false and is leaning left is equal to not is leaning left. So you need to go into your input map and have one called lean left and you also need another one called lean right. Lean left I have bound to Q and lean right I have bound to E. And then if we press lean right, we want to say is leaning left is equal to false and is leaning right is equal to not is leaning right. And then go to your physics process function and you can just call that lean function and then give it the delta parameter. And then it should just work. So if you go to your game, you should be able to lean by pressing Q and E. Now, since we are rotating the kinematic body, it means if you go close to a wall, you'll kind of just be pushed away from that wall. Now, this is good behavior because it prevents camera clipping, but it could also be bad behavior if you're, for example, making a tactical first person shooter and you don't want to be pushed away from the wall. But if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps out channel, helps get content like this, recommend others. If you didn't like, then be sure to let me know why in the comments down below. Uh, that's all from me for now. Fun Uber, out.